16th of June 2022. Concessionaires, researchers and labor associations submitted several opinions to Committee Evaluating Gaming Law Amendment. The changes included in the final draft version of the Gaming Law Amendment presented by the Macau SAR government took into consideration the opinions expressed by committee members evaluating the draft and in several letters submitted to the commission by academic researchers gaming concessionaires and associations, a final report by the committee states. A final draft was approved by the Legislative Assembly's Second Standing Committee on Wednesday and is expected to be submitted to the plenary for voting as early as June 21. After initial discussions, the first proposed amendment bill draft to the crucial legislation for the local gaming sector suffered several changes after a second draft was submitted to the committee on June 14. The commission held a total of 18 times between February 14 and June 15, with several meetings with government representatives and legal advisors, such as Secretary for Economy and Finance Lei Weinong and with many non-committee legislators also attending. A 152-page report on the committee works was published this morning, describing the discussions and main issues that arose from the gaming law amendment proposal, with the future of satellite casinos and junket operators the most contentious. According to the committee, before that final draft was submitted several letters were received from different entities and people, expressing opinions on how to improve the amendment. These included letters from all gaming concessionaires, legislators and several gaming worker associations affiliated with the Macau Federation of Trade Unions. Legal advisors and lawyers Luis Serafim, Tam Hoi K, Wang Hei Tang, Sap Katai and Luisa M. Pais de Bergansa. The director of the Macau Polytechnic Institute Center for Gaming and Tourism Studies, Wang Changbin, and gaming publication Inside Asian Gaming. The report noted that several changes were effected in the draft. Concerning for example the proposal that the Macau chief executive could revoke gaming licenses over national security breaches. The commission agreed with this proposal but inquired what would be the criteria for defining a national security infraction. With some members suggesting the 2009 national security legislation be taken into consideration and others inquiring if the newly established Macau SAR National Security Committee would have to be consulted. Authorities responded that the concession revocation would be grounded on facts and legal grounds, with the Macau Gaming Committee to be consulted before a decision is made. However, after discussion, the Macau government agreed with the commission opinions and in the final draft bill added the circumstances to consider before this decision is made, the report reads. It was also clarified that the Macau SAR National Security Committee would not have to be consulted as it has a mainly advisory role to the chief executive. The government also accepted proposals that the scope of operation held by eligible concessionaires be extended to not just include the operation of casino games of chance as this could force the existing concessionaires to create new joint stock companies to run for a new license. The report also clarifies that in the future concessionaires will need to always maintain a MOP 5 billion in registered capital for the duration of the 10-year concessions. The previously registered capital of MOP 200 million must be increased to MOP 5 billion the moment right after the concession is awarded and maintained before the expected operational start. After the concession start, these funds can be moved but a MOP 5 billion amount must always be maintained at all times. As for the decision to now allow gaming concessionaires to be listed in stock exchanges at all, even if with CE authorization as proposed in the initial bill draft, the report states that the committee members considered it would be hard for authorities to oversee the application of the law. The initial draft noted that if obtaining CE permission, a concessionaire could be listed but the number of shares open to the public could not exceed 30% of the total number of shares, with a list of shareholders controlling the remaining 70% having to be provided to the Gaming Inspection and Coordination Bureau, DICJ. Some understood that listing a company in a stock exchange is a complex operation, and that the government would have trouble overseeing the concessionaires after their listing, even with a 30% cap on publicly traded stocks, the report notes. Therefore it was decided to not allow concessionaires to be listed in the end. Thank you for listening. This news is brought to you by Amplus Live in cooperation with Macau News Agency. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook.